today I'm making a hyper-realistic cake of a popular snack. I was in the snack aisle for like 20 minutes, picking up snacks and putting them back. And yes, my fellow shoppers did notice. They were giving me the eye. Pick something, lady. They'd never guess that I'm not picking a snack to eat. I'm picking a snack to make into edible artwork. My name is Natalie Side Surf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna make a cake of Pringles. The snack that I chose to make in cake is Pringles. Pringles are chips, but not just any chips. Pringles chips are stackable. They're all the exact same shape. They're uniform, so they like fit together. They're like chip puzzle pieces. So how can I make a dessert version of these chips? I'm gonna figure that out. I just don't know that the chips alone are enough. So I'm gonna make the can that they come in too. I'm making two cakes, a stack of chips and the Pringles can. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna make the stack of chips. Hand sculpting each individual chip would be a lot of work. So I have an idea. I have no clue if it's gonna work, but it's an idea. It's pretty out there. <laughs> I wanna try to make a mold of the Pringles stacked. But the problem is, the second I try to pour the mold, the Pringles are gonna separate. They're not gonna stay stacked. They're all gonna be floating in the mold. It's gonna be a Pringles pool party. So how can I keep the Pringles stacked? That's where this melted chocolate comes in. All right, I've got my chocolate, got my chips. Let's make chocolate chips. I'm just squeezing a little chocolate on there and then I place a chip on and uh, I think that looks pretty good. Now I just have to do this over and over again until I like the height of my stack. This is kind of fun and it smells awesome. The sweet chocolate with the salty chips, they're just perfect together. My chip tower is starting to get a little shaky. So I'm just placing some foil underneath to prop it up. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you also want to know what a chocolate covered Pringle tastes like? I'm doing it, I gotta try one. I'm gonna do it chocolate side down on the tongue. Oh my goodness. Chocolate covered Pringles are delicious. I'm gonna eat another one. New favorite snack. All right, I've got my Pringles stacked, but the chocolate is still soft. So I'm gonna pop this chip tower in the fridge and move on to the can. I'm going to use a sugar printer to print out the label. But the problem is I can't find any images of the label online. So I'm gonna try to take the label right off the container. I just gotta peel the label away very carefully, I think. If I'm too hasty with this, I'm gonna rip it and then I gotta, I don't know. If I'm too hasty with this, then I might rip it. This isn't as easy as I had hoped, but it is coming off. And there we go. I just gotta tape the two pieces together, but it's super curly. It doesn't wanna lay flat at all. Let's see if tape will fix that. I'm thinking I can tape the back of these and it's gonna help flatten it so it doesn't keep curling up on me. Now I'm gonna flip it over and yeah, it worked. It's laying flat. Nice. Now I just gotta tape the two pieces together and now I can take a good looking picture of it. I'm gonna print that picture off onto edible paper and then I'll use it a little later. My chip tower is nice and cold, so now we can make a mold of it. I made this foam board box and I'm spooning some chocolate in there. This is the bed of chocolate that our chip tower is going to lay in. So I let the chocolate harden and now I'm pouring in the mold. Now I just gotta set the mold aside to firm up. I noticed that the Pringles can is food safe and made of cardboard. So I'm gonna do something kind of weird. Another thing that I don't know if it's gonna work. This whole cake is a lot of questionable moves by me. I'm filling the walls of the inside of the container with chocolate. Just gotta smooth it out in there. It's not beautiful, but it doesn't really need to be. It's gonna get covered. Now let's bring out some little round cakes. These are cute. And they are a slightly smaller size as the diameter of the container. I'm gonna place these in that container, but I know I won't be able to fit that piping bag into the container. So I'm topping them all with buttercream first. Now I just gotta figure out a way to get the cake layers into the container. <laughs> um. I definitely, my, my, my hand won't fit. I don't know how I'm gonna get them in there. Let's just drop them in. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> it landed buttercream side down. Let's try again and again and again and again and again and again. One last time. There's a gap between the cake and the container. So I'm just filling that with some chocolate. All right, this is looking solid, looking good. Now I just have to hope that I can get the container off of the chocolate. We'll worry about that later. Let's go check on our chip mold. 
These chips are pretty fragile, but I imagine I'm just gonna be able to kind of take that chip tower out in one big piece. I'm really excited to see how this mold turned out because there's like all this texture and all those layers. It's gonna be cool. Let's get these chocolate chips out of the mold. Oh, <laughs> chocolate chips. Well, not like chocolate chips, literal chocolate chips. Well, they are really in there. Oh, this is not going how I thought it would. I am making a huge mess. This mold is the messiest mold that I have ever made. The chips got stuck in there. This isn't, this isn't looking very good. Okay, I'm not giving up. I am going to take a second to clean this mold. I'm gonna clean this mold up and we'll see what we're working with. Do you wear clothes or know someone who does? Well, get yourself some more by heading over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com. That's where you can get some Side Surf Cake Studio clothes. We also have coffee mugs, stickers, beach towels, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below so you don't get lost on your way to the store. And now back to the cake. Okay, well, it, it's definitely messy. I really have no clue if this is gonna work, but I still wanna give it a try. So I'm filling the mold with some white chocolate. I'm trying to get the chocolate into all those little creases. I am like 50-50 right now. I don't know if this is gonna work. All we can do is wait until the chocolate hardens and see how it looks. Now this is worrying me. I have no clue if this worked. I just gotta cut down the cardboard and open it up and see. And it looks... It looks beautiful. It worked better than I thought it would. I'm so proud of it. It's the perfect size. After the disappointment of the chip mold, I am very happy this worked. So I'm just trimming the top because it's a little too tall. And we've got a cake the exact size of a Pringles can. Now let's go back to the chip mold and see how that looks. I'm gently pulling the mold away from the chocolate. Gotta be nice and gentle with it because it's very fragile. All right, let's have a look. Um, it like kind of worked. Like it looks like a stack of chips, but it looks like those chips have been beat up a little. <laughs> These Pringles look like they got in a fight. The thing about Pringles is that they're like usually perfect. Like there's only a few broken ones, if any. The edges are nice and smooth so you can stack them. They look beautiful. That's not what this looks like. It doesn't look horrible, but it also doesn't look as good as I want it to look. I don't want to give up on it. Like it looks kind of okay. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to think about this a little bit. Let's go back to the Pringles can. I'm going to finish that up. So here is my edible sugar sheet with the Pringles logo printed on it. And I think it looks pretty good. That picture of the logo that I took earlier really worked. I just gotta trim the logo and then place it around the cake. Okay, so I think that I know what I'm gonna do with the chips. I don't wanna give up on them completely, but they don't look good enough to just be a stack on their own. So I'm gonna trim off the top of the chips and then place them into my cake can with the can lid open. I think this is gonna look good because it's still including the chips in the cake, but the beat up edges are like kinda hidden because it's inside the container. I'm really happy that I'm still able to include the chips, even though they didn't turn out perfect. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this was a good use of the chips or I should have just kept them out completely. All right, let's have a look at the finished cake. And there you have it, a Pringles cake. Let's have a look at those chips. Gotta check out the chips. What do you guys think about them? I had fun making these Pringles. The shape of the can is spot on. <laughs> what other snacks do you guys think I should make into cake? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's cut the cake. <laughs> I always like cutting tall skinny cakes. If you like this video, like this video and subscribe to this channel. I post a brand new cake every week and I'll see you next week for another cake.